We're here on Madison HD Sportsnet, presented by the JMU Alumni Association, joined by women's soccer head coach Dave Lombardo for the Coach's Show, Episode 2. So, Coach, first of all, thank you for joining us. Great to be here. Thank you. All right. So, uh, the weekend saw two games for women's soccer, the yep. first being a tough 2-1 to one loss at number 9 Virginia Tech. Mm -hmm. What are your thoughts on that game? You know, it, uh, I was talking with our team about it. That's uh, It's always been our scheduling philosophy here that if you – if you want to be a good team, you want to challenge yourself. And, you know, we have one of the tougher schedules that we've had in a bunch of years uh, right now. So um, Virginia Tech is one of the few BCS-level schools that will play a home and home. So uh, I like the game. I like the, uh, the, the rivalry. Um, and I appreciate that uh, Chug Radair, the Virginia Tech coach will play us at JMU next year, and uh, we don't get that with a lot of the ACC and SEC schools. So we're going to keep that uh, that situation going. I think it prepares our kids for if we walk away from that and can look beyond the fact that we lost the game and look more into how well we played, and we can bank that for further on down the road. I think it will pay dividends for us. So last weekend we had a tough one-goal uh, one loss on Friday and then bounced back with a multiple-goal game and a clean sheet. This mm -hmm. weekend we did the same, yep. 2 nothing win at VCU last night. Uh, what does that say about your team's ability to bounce back from tough losses? Well, I think they're, that they're keeping things in perspective right now. They realize that Georgetown was a top-25 team. We lost by one goal. Uh, they, they weren't run over in that game. We actually had uh, probably a lot more ball than – the Georgetown coach thought we were going to have, and probably even the JMU coach thought we were going to have. Um, you know, last week with, or last Friday with Virginia Tech, I mean, they were better than we were uh, uh, overall as a team, but we found a way to compete, and we found a way to have our better players emerge out of that. Uh, Ali Bunner scored a tremendous goal uh, against them, and we had a couple more chances. Uh, it wasn't going to be end-to-end. -end. Uh, we took our chances well. We defended well. And again, I think we got some confidence uh, out of that. VCU is a tough battle. Uh, they're, uh, it's a scrappy, interstate rival type of situation. There's a lot of kids that I looked at uh, that could have, you know, we talked about this last week. They could have gone here or they could have gone there, and they chose for whatever reasons. So uh, they, were, they were really revved up for that game. Uh, they had a great game day atmosphere. The whole pep band was sitting behind me the entire time. I couldn't hear myself think uh, with the tubas in my ears. Uh, but uh, it was a great environment to be in. We didn't play well at, at all in the first half. I don't know if we were just tired or uh, maybe took them uh, a little bit lightly. Uh, I hope that we didn't. But uh, we came out uh, second half and scored 43 seconds, I think it was, into the second half and then seven minutes later. So uh, we were able to kind of ice the, that game. Cool. Yeah, you've had a couple of players who have gotten off to really hot starts so far this season. You mentioned Allie Bunner scoring on yep. Friday. Uh, after the first four games of the season, she has four goals and one assist, and Ashley Herndon has two goals and three assists. Yep. Uh, talk about the energy that they're bringing and the production that they've had so far. Well, you know, we our, our motto this year as a team was to step up your game, and uh, uh, Ashley has been kind of a mainstay for us since her freshman year, uh, but, you know, she will tell you this as well. She probably has had more assists than she has had goals, and that's been one of the things that we've really asked her to be a little bit more selfish, uh, if if you can say that in, in a positive sense. But as a goal scorer, you have to be selfish. You can't always be playing a ball to somebody else that looks like they might be in a slightly better position than you are when you're also in a good position. So she's been she's stepped up to that responsibility. Allie Bunner, um, I think, is really, from a maturity standpoint, is starting to look at herself as a, uh, as a marquee player uh, for this program instead of just one of the the players in the, in the midfield and she's taken that uh, uh, that challenge that we put out to her very very seriously and, and I hope she continues uh, throughout the season right. and the 2015 campaign continues this upcoming Friday 730 game against Eastern East Carolina East Carolina yeah uh, talk about what you want to see going into that game well, I, I'd like us to get a little bit of rest, uh, get some kids healthy. We're banged up from the weekend, uh, so we're going to be off today. But uh, East Carolina is a uh, – they're a very solid opponent. They play in the AAC, uh, and they're one of the better teams in the AAC. Um, they're coming off a tough weekend. They've lost two games 
uh, to William and Mary and GW th this weekend, uh, which is somewhat uncharacteristic for them. So for us, uh, the challenge I'm going to put out to my team th th um, this week is to, as you said before, let's not split. You know, with our, our ambition every weekend is to pick up the six points. Uh, three points for win is what we get into that mentality once we get into conference season. So our ambition is to go out there and pick up six points this weekend. Uh, East Carolina, um, tough, hard-nosed athletic team. Liberty is going to be a lot like VCU. They're just very energetic, very quick, uh, scrappy. So uh, we've got our work cut out for us. Well, that game will be part of a doubleheader at University Park on Friday. Uh, the men's team plays UNC Asheville at 5, and then the women's team plays at 7.30. Yeah. Both teams will be broadcast live uh, video on Matazone HD Sportsnet. Coach, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you, Nate.